Japan has recognized China as the most significant threat since World War II, taking decisive measures to counter the communist country. In an unprecedented move, a staggering 56 billion has been earmarked for the Japanese military in 2024, with an ambitious plan to escalate it even further to 300 billion by 2027. This substantial investment by the Japanese is driving the development and enhancement of a formidable arsenal, featuring cutting-edge weapons that are set to redefine modern warfare. Upgraded aircraft carriers coupled with hundreds of F-35 fighter jets, billions of dollars worth of Aegis systems, and the coveted Japanese hypersonic missiles. Let's jump into the extraordinary array of military capabilities Japan is actively pursuing. Izumo-class aircraft carriers. At the end of World War II, Japan promised the world that it would no longer possess powerful offensive weapons. Japan's commitment to a post-World War II promise of refraining from the powerful offensive weapons is now undergoing transformation in 2024, with the development and upgrade of the Izumo-class aircraft carrier. For the first time in over seven decades, Japan is constructing a spectacular aircraft carrier class, represented by the JS Izumo and JS Kaga. Originally designed as helicopter-carrying destroyers, these vessels are undergoing upgrades to achieve aircraft carrier status, effectively challenging Japan's historical World War II commitment. The move is driven by the perceived threats from neighboring countries, particularly and especially China. Tokyo, the U.S. most important ally in Asia, is rearming with American support as both industrial powers look to boost their defenses amid shared security challenges posed by Beijing. The Kaga, home ported in Kure, Hiroshima, is the largest ship in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force Fleet. Along the class's lead ship, the JS Izumo, the helicopter destroyers, soon to be converted, measure over 800 feet in length and displace 27,000 tons, far smaller than the U.S. Navy's 100,000-ton nuclear-powered supercarriers like the Ford class. It should be noted that Japan hosts the most American troops outside of U.S. territory and boasts one of the most potent militaries in the world. Backed by a heavy industry filled with experienced defense contractors, however, the Japanese government remains cautious about playing up its latest advances because of the country's restrictive post-war constitution. The conversion, initiated in 2020, involves enhancing heat-resistant decks, increasing power, and incorporating a new quad-wrangle-shaped flight deck to accommodate fixed-winged aircraft. Although lacking catapults or ski jumps, these carriers will operate short takeoff and vertical landing fighters, primarily the F-35B Lightning II. Japan's acquisition of 42 F-35Bs combined with an additional 105 F-35s position it as a major hub for these advanced fighters outside the United States. In 2021, two U.S. Marine Corps F-35Bs achieved vertical landings and horizontal takeoffs from JS Uzumo, marking a historic moment for Japanese carriers since World War II. When these carriers entered service, Japan will possess maritime assets capable of defending its shores and projecting power to confront rivals directly. Aegis System Equipped Vessels Allocating $8.78 billion, a whopping 15% of the 2024 budget, Japan is intensifying its missile defense capabilities, notably with construction of two Aegis System Equipped Vessels. They are subsequently named the Aegis System Equipped Vessel. Great job, naming committee! These cruisers, each weighing 20,000 tons, both spacious and ergonomic accommodations for their 110-person crews, resembling cruise ships at day and transforming into potent warships during the night. As the largest surface combatants in the Japanese Navy and potentially globally, these vessels are primarily designed for ballistic missile defense, a crucial component given the ongoing geopolitical challenges, especially with the nuclear ballistic missile threat from neighboring China the threat that has drastically increased with rising tensions in Taiwan. 
In a strategic shift, though, Japan has opted for a more mobile ballistics missile defense system, choosing Aegis system-equipped vessels over a shore-based approach. This decision underscores the necessity for a versatile defense against incoming ballistic missiles. The Aegis system, an American innovation, excels in tracking and intercepting missiles, similar to the land-based system used in Israel. Widely used by the U.S., NATO, and Japan on various battleships, the new Aegis-equipped vessels will feature an upgraded version, promising unparalleled effectiveness in countering missile threats and elevating Japan's defense capabilities to new heights. Japan's Submarines Japan's strategic foresight extends to the seas as it seeks to enhance its submarine capabilities with advanced long-range cruise missiles. Currently armed with the Harpoon missile from the U.S., Japan aims to replace it with a more sophisticated solution to meet evolving battlefield requirements. The potential replacement is linked to the Type 12 subsonic anti-ship missile, a tried-and-true asset in Japan's arsenal. Initiating upgrades in 2018, Efforts are underway to extend the missile's range from 124 miles to an impressive and staggering 930 miles. This enhancement aligns with the needed criteria for a new cruise missile on Japan's submarines, catering to both sea and ground targets with a stealthy profile to evade radar detection. While no official confirmation ties the upgrade Type 12 directly to the submarine missile program, the timeliness suggests that a truly significant leap in Japan's maritime capabilities. With a formidable fleet of 22 submarines, one of the largest, fastest, and most silent globally, Japan is poised to reshape the maritime balance, presenting a substantial challenge for China. Japanese Missiles Japan is making a bold move to bolster its missile capabilities, even passing the submarine base Type 12 allocating a significant portion of its 2024 budget, $5.15 billion, towards the early deployment of standoff missiles, a crucial element in countering China's missile capabilities. The focus includes the acquisition of locally produced Type 12 cruise missiles, which have potential applications on submarines and as air launch weapons from Japan's F-35 fighters. Additionally, the budget supports purchasing American-made missiles like the renowned Tomahawk and the collaborative SM-3 missile, showcasing Japan's commitment to enhancing its long-range missile capabilities for strategic defense. Japan is investing a mind-boggling $1.5 billion to acquire 14 Tomahawk missiles, a renowned and versatile weapon with a stellar track record spanning over three decades. Known for its precision, long-range capabilities, and adaptability to various launch platforms, the Tomahawk stands as a fear-producing choice for Japan's defense needs. Additionally, Japan is incorporating the hybrid SM-3 missile, a joint American-Japanese creation with high capabilities in intercepting ballistic missiles during their mid-course phase. With these acquisitions, Japan is fortifying its missile arsenal with proven technologies to enhance its defensive capabilities. Japan is gearing up for the future with a diverse arsenal. The future is near with hypersonic missiles, which will bring a new dimension to offense and defense. The hypersonic cruise missile and hypervelocity gliding projectile, both set to operate at speeds exceeding Mach 5, represent Japan's foray into cutting-edge technology. These missiles, expected to debut in the 2030s, promise unparalleled speed and agility making interception a daunting task for existing air defense systems. As Japan focuses on bolstering its military capabilities, it positions itself as a significant player on the global stage, singling determination to counter potential threats, particularly from China. Next-Gen Fighter Jets Japan is also investing significantly in its quest for a lethal sixth-generation air superiority fighter despite already having 23 billion worth of F-35s. Sixth generation is the future of aerial warfare. Initially, Japan initiated its solo sixth generation fighter project. Japan later formed partnerships with Britain and Italy, who were also developing a joint sixth generation fighter. 
The 2024 budget has been set and allocates $490 million to this venture, with additional millions expected in subsequent budgets. The goal is to create the most capable fighter in Japan's history, incorporating cutting-edge technologies. Notably, the fighter's control power and brake system will utilize electric actuators instead of traditional hydraulic systems, offering adaptability within the intricate fighter interior. This innovative approach allows developers greater flexibility in designing an efficient and advanced jet for Japan's airspace. The advanced sixth-generation fighter Japan is pursuing offers added mobility and features a lighter airframe. In the quest for radar and visibility, the fighter minimizes radar wave reflection and prevents the detection of its radar emissions. Utilizing internal weapons bays, serpentine air ducts coated with carbon-based electromagnetic wave absorbers, and employing passive detection, the fighter optimizes its stealth capabilities. Its armament includes a range of kinetic weapons and potentially futuristic laser weapons. Adding to its capabilities, the fighter incorporates third-party loyal wingmen for auxiliary missions like scouting and missile defense. This comprehensive set of features positions the new fighter as a strategic asset aligning with Japan's defense requirements. To help aid Japan in destroying their enemies, comment, like, and subscribe for future videos. Thanks, Warheads!